There's different ways that we can also control stability by simply controlling the dihedral. Now, I'm going to exaggerate the dihedral and the anhedral, if you will. You see me drawing here is anhedral. This is literally where the wings sweep down, okay, not up. We could, of course, have no dihedral at all. And then we have a positive dihedral like such. Okay. Again, this is very, very exaggerated simply for ease of understanding and the purpose of this discussion. But let's talk about this. Anhedral, if I have a relative wind, okay, this direction, which way would you expect the airframe to turn? Okay, remember, this is the tail, right? Do you think we're going to have some downward wash here and it would turn, and a higher alpha, by the way, on the other side, would it turn into the wind or away from the wind? If you guessed into the wind, you're correct. This is said to be unstable. And sometimes, by the way, it is necessary for manufacturers to put anhedral into the wing design. Why? Because perhaps they have no wing sweep. It's a mid-wing placement of the airfoil. And so the airframe, that aircraft, would actually be so stable that it would not be controllable because it's too stable. I can't control it in a crosswind. I can't control it with single engine. I can't control it in, 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 in potentially a, a wind shear situation. So we can't have too much stability. Manufacturers are looking for a good mix of stable and unstable that will yield good aircraft controllability. Make sense? Okay. Now over here, of course, we have nothing. So this is what's said to be neutral. And then over here with our dihedral, dihedral usually brings in more stability, right? Because think about here, if I have wind, same example we've been drawing all video long, right? If I have this relative wind impacting here, what kind of angle of attack and potentially upwash is this airfoil seeing? Would the aircraft now roll away from the wind or would it roll into the wind? With this particular example, the aircraft is actually going to roll away from the wind. And what we've already learned is that an airplane that rolls away from the wind is said to be stable. So remember, what you want to get out of this discussion is this. Aircraft manufacturers are looking for a good balance of a stable and a little unstable airframe design. Now, the reason they want that is because, of course, they want a stable platform, but they also want to give the pilots, the crew, us, good aircraft controllability to handle any type of flight control abnormality, wind shear potentially, crosswinds, single engines. We need to be able to control the aircraft. And as a result of that, we do need a little bit of instability built in. So we happen to have, and for example, a 320 or a 737, just as an example, we have a low wing, low wing design. Okay, low wing design. Is this stable or unstable? Low wing. Low wing would be unstable, you agree? Okay, in addition to the low wing, we have sweep, aft sweep. Is sweep stable or unstable? Sweep should give us some added stability, right? And what else do we have? Dihedral, right? We do have some positive, okay, dihedral, draw it with a plus. We do have some positive dihedral. The positive dihedral will give us what? An unstable or a stable platform? What does the positive dihedral do for us here? Just as we learned, it's going to roll away from the wind, so it's going to be a stable platform. And what you're going to find is that when manufacturers are determining wing placement, sweep angle, dihedral angle, they're taking into consideration that, again, I need a good mix of controllability and still a stable platform, and they're going to manipulate these three variables to achieve that. And what we finally find out is the majority of these aircraft have two stable characteristics and one unstable characteristic. You look at any transport jet, and generally what you're going to find is that of these three variables, you will have stable, stable, and unstable. And if you can see this, you can look at any airframe, any transport category jet, and I promise you, likely what you're going to find is stable, stable, unstable, and those are the aircraft that we're flying in today's airspace.